This is a demonstration on osmosis using a potato osmoscope. For this experiment, you will need two empty containers, which you will later fill. Two peeled potatoes, which I did a terrible job peeling, but you know, they're still peeled. Two glasses, one filled with regular tap water and one filled with sugar water solution. You will also need two pins to monitor the water level. The yellow one represents the tap water and the red represents the sugar solution. Cut the bottom and the top of the potato like so and then take a spoon and start to hollow out the inside of the potato until you reach the bottom. Be careful not to accidentally scoop out the bottom. This is what your hollowed out potato should look like and you're going to go ahead and do that with the second potato as well. Then you're going to take your two empty glasses, fill them with water, make sure that it is a little under halfway full. Take a pin into your sugar water solution. Be careful if you do press it all the way in that you don't press it below the water level so that the water doesn't leak out. And you're going to carefully place it inside of the glass. Do the same thing with your second potato, the yellow pin representing the tap water. And again, carefully place it on the inside of the glass. So this is what your potatoes should look like. The yellow or whatever color you chose to do represents the tap water solution and the red represents the sugar solution. Then you are going to want to grab a Sharpie and mark the outer water level of the glasses. Make sure that it is a glass container because you can easily remove the Sharpie marks with nail polish removal. So now I will be showing you a time lapse of the potatoes. On the left is the tap water and on the right is the sugar solution. I noticed that over time, as you will see eventually here, that the left, the tap water potato, um, the water actually started going down quite quickly. After an hour and a half had passed, the water on the outside of the potato was going down and the water on the inside of the potato was going down as well. I'm not sure if it was because maybe the pin had leaked the water. Um, I double checked it before I put the pin in and I can assure myself that you know that probably wasn't the case. So maybe it was because the outside of the potato was also absorbing the water. So the potato on the left contains the tap water. Um, I was surprised to see that over time the water started to go down, but the water on the inside of the potato also started to go down. So I was wondering, you know, maybe the outside of the potato was absorbing all of that water on the inside and on the outside. But the right glass, which contains the sugar water solution, the water on the outside started to go down and the water on the inside of the potato started to go up. So here is a picture of my uh, sugar water solution potato. You can't tell, but the pin is completely submerged in water, whereas when I started the experiment, the pin was barely touching the surface of the water. And in picture number two, you can see that the water in the um, tap water potato had completely gone down. The water on the outside of the potato also completely went down. So maybe this is because the outside of the potato absorbed it, the inside of the potato absorbed the water, but that is my theory as to why the water on the tap water potato was disappearing. So that is the end of my experiment. If you would like to try this experiment out for yourself, I will leave a link in the description of this video um, to another osmosis experiment that another individual conducted and the actual science video pertaining to why the sugar water solution uh, rose up while the water on the outside went down. Hopefully you did enjoy this video and thank you for watching.